All right, I need to be able to tank a surf. Can we do it? This is the moment of truth for Palkia. Oh my gosh, can we get to it? Oh my gosh, what a beast! Yeah, this thing is, um... Yeah, this thing's pretty nasty for sure. Oh, beautiful. And we do it. Good. Hard countered all the way throughout. And we still pull it off. Disgusting. Hey, everyone. To wrap up the season, we're going to showcase some battles from the best Pokemon in Master League in all of PvP. Rank number one on PV Poke right now, it is Palkia Origin Form. And this is some battles from obviously the end of this season. Uh, I kind of didn't get to do a ton of battles with Palkia Origin just because uh, at my current ELO, there's just not a lot of people queuing up for Master League. But... Uh, be sure to save this video for the future because uh, especially when Master League rolls back around, this team is going to be really strong. In fact, it's going to be even better because Aqua Tail is getting a buff. So the team I ran is uh, Landorus Therian form, uh, Dialga uh, Altered form, like the original form, I guess, and then Palkia Origin form. And Palkia Origin is the newly released Pokemon from the Sinnoh Tour. Managed to get a 100% IV one. I would say that if you have a Dialga origin, you can definitely replace the Alter form with it. It's a lot bulkier. Um, it doesn't hit nearly as hard, but still gets the job done. Uh, I think one of the biggest matchups it loses is Garchomp, but you don't really see too much Garchomp these days. So uh, that's probably the biggest difference there from the Altered form. I have two sets of battles uh, strung together. So let's take a look at the battles and see why Palkia origin is rank number one. Before we get into the battles, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to all my patrons who've been supporting my content creation. If you'd like private one-on-one -on -one coaching, scrims against me, some of my lead guides and strategies ahead of time, or even tune into my live stream battles, feel free to sign up through the Patreon link down below. So these are going to be two back-to-back -back sets. Uh, and I didn't get to do a ton of testing with the team ahead of time, uh, but just wanted to see how it goes. Um, Zygarde is super annoying especially on the safe swap so what you really want to do is just debuff them uh i usually try to debuff them twice they threw pretty early here so it seems like they have crunch which is not too bad outrage is going to hurt quite a bit though um and most crunch users are not running earthquake as well uh or sorry they're running earthquake um but they're unlikely to run earthquake and outrage i have seen one with it but typically speaking they're running uh crunch and earthquake or outrage and earthquake um, so that being said, uh, we do get a farm down, which is pretty nice. And then all this entry on Dialga is super strong uh, and super relevant, which is why Dialga is still uh, one of the best Pokemon in all of Master League, um, especially because that's, uh, for the most part, a positive matchup against Palkia Origin, but that matchup is actually not that close. Um, my opponent is going to get a little bit greedy here, so they're going to get hit by an Iron Head. We go for the combo play, which is absolutely huge. Uh, take out the Zacian. And then they have their own Dialga, uh, which honestly had some play into my back end line, but uh, I think they just thought they're a little too far behind at that point. All right, um, this Landorus is actually super strong as well. Uh, it checks a lot of things, and a lot of times you can just debuff and dip. Uh, I'm going to swap out to my Dialga at this point in time. You can survive a Focus Blast after their debuff, but it's not very comfortable. Uh, most typically aren't running Focus Blast, but I have been hit by one or two, so uh, something to watch out for. But we come away with a punch of energy, which is nice. Um, and then they come in with their own uh, Landorus. Uh, you could probably just safely go Iron Head in this matchup. Um, and they do shield, which is pretty nice for me. I have the Palkia in the back. Um, but yeah, like I said, by the time you're watching this video, maybe Aqua Tail's already buffed at that point in time. Uh, but yeah, Aqua Tail buff makes Palkia even stronger in Master League. So if you don't have a Palkia Origin form, especially if you need one with Spatial Rend, um, Definitely start special trading for it. Uh, definitely could be worth it. All right, so uh, we do end up throwing a Aqua Tail that gets caught, which is not ideal, but uh, I still have two shields up, so that's going to put me in a really good spot. They spend their final shield. Uh, I think I'm going to just over farm a little bit just so I could throw a Stone Edge at that uh, at their Landris, um, and they're just going to quit out at this point. Yeah, so. Uh, honestly, team is really, really strong right now, uh, undefeated so far. Uh, I don't play a ton of Master League, so I'm not even necessarily one of the best Master League players in general. Uh, 
but yeah, it's uh, this team is just very strong. All right, so they counter swap their own Dialga, uh, which means that I could pretty much win switch if I decide to shield. I choose not to because uh, I draw their Dialga, which is pretty good for me overall already. I have a move bank, so they can't really throw anything with their Dialga. I could probably throw like one or two more much shots. Oh, Cheggy's out of here. She's not a Mewtwo fan, I guess. All right, um. But yeah, we take out the uh, yeah we take out the Dialga, and then now uh, we have to pretty much shield everything from this Mewtwo. Uh, the side strikes are going to hit quite hard. We could tank one, um, but I'd rather just not. Uh, I would rather force the Kyogre to throw um, potentially a Thunder or a Blizzard to take me out. Uh, we're going to grab their shield with the Aqua Tail, which is pretty nice, um, and we're going to see just how much. Uh, how strong this Palky really is, right? So I'm gonna throw before they get to another side strike. Um, but here's the thing, right? You're taking, you're doing trip. Uh, it's double resisted waterfall damage. So we just barely, as you can see here, get to the spatial rend to do a ton of damage, and then we're able to kind of go for a semi combo play here to finish it off. Um, but yeah, just surviving what those three or four waterfall damage uh, because of the typing on it uh, on the Palky Origin. It's super strong. Um, obviously, Palkia Altered Form has the same exact typing. It's just the stats-wise, and uh, especially having to throw Draco uh, Meteor instead of Spatial Ren, it's just not quite the same. Uh, Origin uh, Form of Palkia is significantly better. Whereas, Origin Form of Dialga is a little bit different, more of a toss-up. We grab a shield from the uh, Groudon, which pretty much we get the job done at that point in time. Um, again, Mewtwo is pretty strong into the team outside of Dialga, so I kind of want to have a shield advantage for my back end uh, Palkia and see what happens. There's a chance they might have like a Dialga in the back, which I definitely need the shields for. Uh, I'm going to overfarm as much as possible, and then we throw, I think, on charge attack priority too. I'm not even sure if I was keeping track of accounts, but end up working out. Uh, Mewtwo throws a move right away, which is not ideal for me, so I think I'm probably going to debuff and then dip. Yeah, so I'm going to debuff. Don't want to give the Mewtwo too much energy, so I'm going to just throw as soon as possible and then swap out. Uh, they tank it, actually, which is pretty nice. And then, uh, yeah. This is really bad on my end because it's on charge attack priority. So, not good at all. Um, luckily, my opponent also shields, so that's actually really nice. I might try to go for a catch. Unfortunately, I was a little off timing. So, this battle is not looking good at all. And they have a Dialga Origin in the back. So... Uh, real moment of truth, how good is Palkia Origin, uh, especially because the type of advantage on Dialga is pretty nice, and you can see here, just not enough to one-shot, unfortunately, uh, and they hit us with the Roar Time. So we end up losing that battle, but uh, it's okay. Um, I think I probably made some misplays uh, throughout, especially in that Mewtwo matchup, um, but yeah. Kept it close, I guess. All right. Um, in the Landorus mirror match, uh, I often go for a bait first. I find that most don't uh, go for bait. So it's a pretty safe shield to shield that stone edge. And then I purposely throw on charge attack priority on this one. Uh, I think there's the best buy, so they should win charge attack priority every time. Uh, I'm not sure if they best buy the Therian form specifically, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, they best buy you. All right. So we're going to catch a stone edge at this point in time because it's unlikely they don't throw the stone edge. Um, and they have their own Dialga in the back. It's going to be the origin form though. Um, so not too bad. Uh, it doesn't hit as hard. So this iron head is not going to hurt as much. Uh, we could go safely go for the Draco meteor at this point in time, get the most out of this damage before it debuffed. And then they no shield. So that's pretty good. All right. And now they come in with their Mewtwo. Uh, again, we kind of just need to debuff this because we've seen how much Mewtwo does to Palkia. Um, I don't know if this is worth shielding. Do I shield? No, I don't. I let this one go. Yeah, so they spend all their energy. But their Mewtwo is debuffed at this point in time. So not too bad for me. Uh, the side Strike is really going to hurt, though. I will say that. Palkia Origin is very strong. But uh, yeah, the damage from Mewtwo is uh, no joke. Uh, but we pretty much have back-to-back -back Alcatel at this point. So, and they didn't throw. So we could just throw the next one. Even on charge-type priority, we're fine. Uh, but yeah, we finish them off. All right. So we end up going 4-1 in the first set. Not too bad. Um, overall, the team just feels really strong. Uh, I made some misplays in like other sets as well, and I was still able to win some games. So, uh, pretty nice overall. As you see, I'm in the 3200 range, so uh, a lot of these players definitely know what they're doing. Um, but even if you're a Master League noob like me, you can make it work if you have a really strong Pokemon. All right, uh, they swap straight away to their Landris at this point in time. We'll just counter swap with Palkia. Uh, Palkia can just safely 
Dragon Breath is down. Uh, Stone Edge is going to hurt quite a bit, but it looks like they're going for two Sandseer Storms instead, uh, which is pretty good. Um, I'm pretty low on health at this point, so I should be able to get a Roar of Time off, or sorry, Spatial Rend off uh, before getting finished off, and they don't get too much energy off of this, so it's actually really, really nice for me. And they're closing in on Sandseer Storm range, actually. That's quite nice. Uh, we do come back in with the Landris. Go straight for the Sandseer Storm. If they shield, fantastic. Uh, they end up shielding, which is nice. I'm probably just going to safely shield and just match. At this point in time, the combination of Landris and Dialga pretty much beats most things. Um, Suit Avalug is a slight problem, though, for sure. Um, however, it doesn't really have uh, hard-hitting moves for Dialga. It has Icy Wind and typically Rock Slide. Uh, I know I could tank the Icy Wind. Double Super Effector Iron Head is going to do a ton of damage. So I think we're in a good spot there. Um, I think I'm probably just going to overfarm a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to overfarm just a little bit before they get to another move. So I have some residual energy for the Diog in the back. I still have a shield too, but I don't want to give him too much energy. And then, unfortunately, we don't get to the Draco Meteor. But uh, they're pretty much in much shot range at this point. Yeah, so we should be good. And we finish them off. All right. Uh, Rayquaza. You don't see this super often anymore, especially with the Breaking Swipe nerf, but it is definitely annoying in the lead, and it's pretty good in the Palkia in the back. So I really have only one check, which is my own Dialga, so not the best case situation, I should say. That being said, uh, we do go for the Draco Meteor. It's going to do a lot of damage uh, for Resisted, even. Um, I mean, Dialga's just kind of busted in that respect. Uh, we force them to throw their energy, though, which is quite nice. Uh, this will give me a little bit of a farm down, just like a one extra mud shot uh, lead. But uh, at this point in time, it's kind of a weird situation, right? If I land a bait, great. Or if I land a stone edge, great. Um, but otherwise, the dragon tail damage is really adding up. So we got one bait. Let's see. Do I go for another one? Yeah. So I should do this before I got to the move. Hoping maybe they miscounted. And it looks like they did. Uh, which definitely works out for me. I have no idea what they have in the back yet. So... That's not going to be great. Um, but I'm going to throw the Stone Edge as soon as possible. I don't really want to get... Even on bad timing, it's better just to take this Rayquaza out. And then they have a Ho-Oh. So this is actually pretty good for the Palkia Origin form. You can see the Incinerate double resisted. Just like the Waterfall damage is doing pretty much nothing. Uh, they're actually running Solar Beam, which is kind of nutty. I would not have expected that. Uh, but Solar Beam, Earthquake, Brave Bird, all for neutral. Palkia can tank. And yeah, going to close it out against the Ho-Oh in the back. All right, another Dialga lead. Uh, obviously, Dialga is still everywhere, even though it's not ranked number one in PE Poke. Its utility is still pretty crazy strong. Um, they do have a Zygarde safe swap, which, again, pretty strong into my team. Just have to watch out for the Outrage. So I'm going to debuff this thing first, twice, and then maybe swap in my own Dialga. Uh, Generous to play. Maybe I tank a move first. Yeah, let's see what they throw. They might throw an Outrage, though. This is actually a lot of energy. Yeah, they threw Outrage, so... Uh, not ideal. So I'm going to swap out with Sandseer Storm. Um, Sandseer Storm does a decent amount of damage to opposing Dialga. So as long as I get to half health range, it should be fine. Oh, this is the guy that was running the Outrage and the Earthquake. Yeah, they were running the double nuke variation. Something I was not expecting. Something I really never saw. Um, but it definitely did a lot of work into my uh, composition right here. So we have the Sandseer Storm banked. So we're going to throw it. Um, there's a chance of the shield though, which puts me in a really tough position. Um, and they do shield, which is not ideal. Uh, so I'm going to come in with the Palkia and it feels bad, but I pretty much have to let a potential bait go. Uh, they end up baiting, which is nice, but the question is what they have in the back, right? They come in Zygarde. Uh, okay. So we able to Dragon Breath that down, which is nice. Uh, and then we just have to go for farm down. This is the Alga, I guess. Uh, let's see how this goes. I have no idea what they have in the back. Um, oh, it's a Landorus. All right. Okay. Uh, we have some play. We get two back-to-back -back Aqua Tails and Palkia Origin. Cleaning it up there too, right? With the coverage of the Aqua Tail. Uh, it's just a little bit bulkier than the Altar form, I believe. So that you could just tank some of that Dragon Breath damage. Super effective. A lot better. Dragon Breath and Dragon Tail, actually. Yeah. Uh, Palkia Origin. Just stupid busted, in my opinion. All right. Uh, we face a Xerneas in the lead. Xerneas is really strong to my back end matchup. Uh, so anytime you catch a Xerneas or Zasha in the lead, you're in a really good spot. Um, I think this is another uh, Zygarde. Yeah, Zygarde is super strong. If you have a Zygarde, you could probably replace Dialga with Zygarde on, in this line or something else. I just don't have the cells or the IVs for a good one. Um, but it is stupid strong in Master League right now. 
All right, so they, uh, yeah, they land an earthquake, which is not great. I didn't really want to spend my final shield right there. But this puts me in a really tough position. Um, they at least throw their energy, so I do have that going for me. But it's not looking good. It's not looking good. All right, so they're running Crunch and Earthquake. Uh, I think I threw on Charge Attack Priority, but that's pretty good for me because, uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about the Outrage. Yeah, this one's a little tough, unfortunately. Moonbar is pretty much one shot to Palkia Origin, which is not ideal. Um, so we're going to see what we can do. Maybe get to a second Aqua Tail, but I don't think he actually even takes him out. Yeah, probably not. Do we get a Dragon Breath down? Ooh, not quite. Maybe I should throw in the Aqua Tail and try to get a Shield KO. I don't know. Um, this is going to be kind of tough. Yeah, with the uh, Kyogre in the back, uh, it's not great. So we've had a really great lead, all things considered. Uh, potentially, maybe I should just double shield in. But, uh, yeah, let's put it in tough position. Yeah, well played by the opponent, though, for sure. All right, Kyogre lead, not great. But anytime you see a Kyogre lead with a Tokus safe swap, uh, well, this is one of the potentially OG teams that have been around since Season 1, which is Kyogre, Tokus, and Dialga, some that have been around maybe even since the preseason of GBL, actually, but been for years. Um, you could usually grab shield advantage if you do that, and that's exactly what we do. We grab both shields, and then now Palkia is in a clearing to sweep. Unless they have a Zacian or a Xerneas, um, Palk Palkia should be doing really well, even against opposing dragons like Dialga. Um, I'm going to overfarm a little bit, and then throw the Stone Edge. Uh, I know they don't have... Uh, flamethrower because we saw the uh uh ores here earlier all right and as expected it's a dialga in the back uh so a really old school team but spatial rend plus the dragon breath damage is enough to do quite a bit of damage to dialga i knew there's an iron head which i live but i want to save as much health as possible for this kyogre in the back um it looks like they're going straight serve and i was like i don't know if i live this but double resisted palkia origin i mean this thing is just nutty on a different level uh, and we land the Spatial Rend, and unfortunately, we don't get to move off. So, I think I should have overfarmed just a little bit more into that Tokus, and I think I win that one. So, really close one. I um, thought we almost had it, but uh, unfortunately, just fell a little bit short. But, as you can see, that's kind of the blueprint of a really good Master League team. I'm not the best Master League player, so anyone running this team might be able to run it a lot better than I did. But even then, still have to climb uh, a decent amount with this team whenever I can find battles. So, if you don't have a Palkia Origin... Definitely save your lucky trades for it. Definitely try to get one. Make sure you get Spatial Rend right now at the current timing of this video. It is not elite TMable. It might be down the road, but uh, for the time being, you really want Spatial Rend. So make sure if you are going to trade any or if you're going to power up any, make sure you're powering up the one with Spatial Rend. Uh, you can't elite TM it, for, TM it for whatever reason right now. That's been confirmed by Niantic. New season drops uh, literally tomorrow or from the time you're watching this, maybe today. Uh, so best of luck, and go find yourself a Palkia Origin to use for Master League. Uh, until then, be sure to hit that like button, share if you like this video, uh, hit that notification bell to get alerted when I post a new video, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.